Hi everyone, I'm here at the E3 Konami studio with Greg Nolan, brand manager of New Little King Story. Hi Greg, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Good. Uh, so let's start off by introducing New Little King Story. Sure, so New Little King Story is ac actually a sequel to the original title Little King Story that was released in 2009 on the Wii. It did very well. It was hailed as a very successful uh, action-adventure title, almost like an interactive fairy tale. And so what we... Who doesn't love that? <laughs> why not? So for New Little King Story, what we've done is we've taken all the elements of the original games that were very successful, and we've created a whole new storyline, all new art, um, and, a, and, you know, a, a great little adventure for, you know, all the fans to play. And what are some of the new features that differentiate the Wii version from the PlayStation Vita version of New Little King Story? Well, the original title was released on the Wii with limited features. Um, what we've done is we've switched platforms to the Vita because uh, of three reasons, really. One, the PlayStation Vita has an amazing, brilliant display. So we wanted uh, fans and gamers to actually just see a rich gaming experience visually. Um, two, we really wanted to take advantage of the PS Store to allow, uh, you know, after the game is released, to have tons of downloadable content um, that will allow the game to live on and have a lot of replayability. And three, you know, it's a, it's a brand new platform, the Vita, so we really wanted to utilize all the, the features of that Vita, including the touchscreen and the rear touch panels. So we just felt like you know, for a new release of this title, this was the right platform to be on. Right, and then was there any change in the storyline? Well, of course, you know, we, we did take a lot of elements from the original, a lot of characters, um, you know, a lot of things are still the same, a lot of characters that people loved are still in the game, but right. of course, it's a brand new storyline. Will there be any additional content available after the release? Of course, you know, as I mentioned, there's gonna be a ton of DLC content, everything from uh, new weapons and abilities to clothing and costumes, so there's, there's gonna be plenty of things out there for everybody to love. Right, so constantly changing, constantly improving. Absolutely, and the cool thing is, you know, we're gonna sell these DLC, uh, this DLC content in packs, so oh, wow. it's not gonna be a single costume or things like that, so right. we're gonna group them together so that it's one pack that makes sense together for each character. So what are some of the new multiplayer elements added to the Vita version? So this is actually, it's a single player campaign, uh, but that's not to say that there aren't cooperative type gameplay elements to this. So for example, you will participate with your friends offline, um, but in addition, you know, there's, there's, um, there's elements such as the arena battle where you will go into battle in a really immersive, more difficult battle type situation than you'll experience in the game where you will be tested solely yourself against your opponent. Um, and after those types of battles take place, there's online leaderboards, so you'll be able to upload all of your information to, oh, wow. so your friends can track how you are uh, doing in the game. So it's like real time. You can, exactly. you can kind of play with your friends yes. in a way. There is also, as I mentioned, cooperative type gameplay. Okay. So in the game, uh, a lot of the game is about gathering items, um, different, minerals, different uh, types of materials, and the cool thing is that you can really take those items and mash them up to create different things, abilities, medicine, uh, powers, right. things like that, and depending on how you combine those things, they'll create different things. So. Right say you need an element that your friend has, your friend can share it with you. Oh, you can trade them? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there is a lot of, um, I, as I mentioned, you know, offline co cooperative gameplay elements. Yeah, and then like you said, with the downloadable content, I mean, that just adds a whole nother level to it. Absolutely. So, you know, I really think that this is a game for, you know, um, probably skewing towards males, but definitely males, females, you know, in the you know, the 15 to 25 year old range who yeah. are really looking for a really cool fairy tale adventure. Something that, um, you know, has a lot of Animal Crossing type elements to it as well. In that, um, you know, you are King Korobo and at the beginning of this game, your entire, uh, your entire kingdom has been wiped out by this evil foe called the Nightmare. So part of the game is rescuing the princesses that the evil foe has taken from you. But it's also to rebuild your kingdom. So, you know, you need to start over basically and you need to, um, you need to start building a town, a village. You need to start having people come populate that village. 
you need to be able to assign them jobs and roles. Um, and you can change those those roles and those jobs as you see fit, you know? So if a battle is about to ensue, you can take all these people who are not warriors and make them warriors so that they can help you out in your quest. So, so. you create your own little kingdom, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely, and that's kind of where the Animal Crossing type elements come in. And, you know, and on the other side is a great adventure story. So I think I think just about anybody would love this. Oh, yeah, and who doesn't love a fairy tale? Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect game for me. I actually just played a little bit of it outside. I had a really good time. It's, good. Uh, <laughs> definitely my kind of game. Good. I love I love anything, um, you know, magical and fun like that. <laughs> well, good. Well, look for it on PS Vita coming this fall. Yes. Um, sure. And uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Greg. I really no, appreciate it. Thank you. having you here. Thank you. Um, well, you heard it from the man himself. For more updates, please check out facebook.com slash Konami, and I'll see you guys next time. Konami.